Okay, everybody, I got this little uh, thing to show you called the Mordbot. We're going to be unboxing it and trying it out here and see how it runs across the floors. Uh, right after this. First thing you'll notice about the Mordbot is a very cool thing on wheels. I'm just going to get to the unboxing on it. Honestly, it is a supremely awesome thing. Looks like a mini monster truck, doesn't it? I'll yank it out here so you can get a good view of it. Ah, there we go. Check it out. Okay, I want you to get a nice close-up on this here. Something that I want you to notice are these tires. This is a vehicle that not only can it move like on a uh, surface like this, but it can actually move uh, like this, side to side. Yeah, I want to get some good uh, footage of that. Um, I saw that uh, do that at CES. Honestly, this is a something that I saw at CES and couldn't wait to get my hands on so I can review it at home. Something else I want to talk about is just what else comes in the box. As you can see, we got this nice charging cable here. It's to be a USB-C. That's what I expected. Then there's also uh, this particular guy here. This looks like to be a, what I believe it is, is, ah, here we go. There's some uh, ports here, and I think what this does is it locks in here. I believe the purpose of this thing is sort of a mobile sentry bot. It is not only moves around uh, with a set of legs, so to speak, uh, four of them legs, but there's also eyes on it, so the camera. However, uh, at the time, oh, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, here it is. Okay, so it looks like it plugs in, uh, looks like this cord will plug in the side here. And then, um, I think you can lay this on the floor. And is this stickable? I think it is. Oh, it is. There's adhesive here. So basically, this thing is programmed to essentially park itself and then charge. So that's a pretty interesting thing here. And check it out. Here's the USB the, uh, adapter for uh, regular, uh, you know, two-pound plugs. Not bad, not bad at all. So the question I have to ask myself is, how do I program it to work? Well, let's check out the instructions. Okay, as I suspected, guess what? We're going on the App Store to check this out, which always means, of course, that we gotta shift to uh, our computer. Okay, we're just gonna check it out here, and um, yeah, uh, we'll see if we can uh, make it work from there. What I'm hoping that we can get is some footage uh, from the camera itself. This is always difficult whenever I have a, a product that has uh, that records its own footage because it's really hard to rip the footage off there because oftentimes it's very unique to the app and then just getting it to download is a real pain because you don't know where you saved it in your phone and stuff like that. That's just. Does anyone else have this problem? I feel like I'm all alone. All right, let's check this sucker out. I wonder how easy the app would be to use. I don't even know where to find the app. Well, let's see. Do a search on Morbot Scout. I guess we're going to have to do that. Okay, I'm downloading the app here. I didn't notice this, but there seems to be some uh, switches on the side here. I can't really tell what they're for here. Like two buttons. One here and one here. Okay. That just made the uh, little lights go on down here. I hope this means that, uh, you know, I just suddenly realized I haven't really charged this. So, usually these things come out of the box with a little bit of a charge, but maybe not this time. We'll see. Okay, the app is downloaded, but of course I have to set up an account for it. Is anyone else just sick of this? Just setting up an account for, like, everything? And with a password and all like that? I am just so sick and tired of it. Can you just let me push a button and just do it? I just don't know why that is. Oh, this has to be a something that you got to do. Okay, I got the app downloaded, and it says I got to connect to the... Wi-Fi, but I'm not seeing that as an option here, or at least, hmm. Kind of wondering if I need to charge this thing first. I think maybe I'll do that and do that, uh, see how well that goes tomorrow.
Okay, sorry about the poor uh, sound quality on my uh, GoPro camera here, which is what I had to use to film both the app and the core at the same time. But if you want this and you believe you can do a lot with it, and you really can, you can get it on the uh, Mormod site for about $179.99 right now. And that's a markdown for $199. So I get a hold of this. This is a very neat, nifty product, and I wouldn't be surprised if these sold out during the holiday season or something like that, because they are super sweet. Anyway, this has been Mark Rawls from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.